Danny Masterson has officially gotten his new prison mug shot taken today. Hard to kind of read what's going on uh, behind those eyes from this mug shot here, but he was admitted into North Kern State Prison in Delano, California, and he's apparently still undergoing the reception and classification process uh, at this prison. Uh, that kind of happens at every prison when you first enter and they're kind of just figuring out, you know, what your charges, your sentence, you know, how much time you have. If you have any history, like if you've been to prison before and just your disciplinary history there and just medical records, medication, anything. So they're kind of figuring all that out with him, but he was transferred to North Kern today. And one thing uh, that I saw pointed out, it's the same prison that Tory Lanes, the rapper who went to prison for allegedly, you know, shooting Meg the Stallion in the foot. He's serving a 10 year sentence there. Okay. And I remember when he first went to North Kern prison, there was this big thing, you know, a lot of articles getting written about um, all this new prison that Tory Lanes went to North, North Kern. There's been so, you know, murders there, several murders there already this year. Um, there was even an inmate who did have a sex charge, sex offense, not sure what the exact charge was, uh, but him and another inmate actually were convicted for attacking staff members there. And on top of that, uh, they listed how, you know, they do have fences there. This is a level four out of five facility in California. So it is considered a medium facility. So he's not even at a maximum. He's at a medium facility in California. And they even pointed out, yeah, they have fences there, but there have been escapes in this same prison. So, you know, there's all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The things you're going to read in the headlines of articles about this prison, because these celebrities are there now. I guess I just want to kind of point out, you know, the fact that there's been murders this year and someone has escaped before from that yard and, oh, well, there was someone there who attacked a corrections officer. That happens at pretty much every prison, especially when you're talking about a medium and maximum security prison. That's every prison. I mean, I don't think this is a uniquely or especially dangerous, deadly wild west prison yard that he's been sent to i think it's just kind of like any other medium or maximum you would go to pretty much anywhere else in the country all right i think they're just kind of trying to emphasize all this stuff that's happened i mean i can find plenty of other prisons that have you know three four five times that kind of activity within the last year than this place i'm sure um I don't really think any of that has anything to do with Danny Masterson. I mean, there's been escapes. I don't think Danny's going to try to escape. I mean, where, where could that guy hide? He's very recognizable, uh, even though he's starting to look like Charles Manson a little bit in this mugshot. But also, you know, everyone, of course, is still speculating, oh, he's going to be in protective custody the whole time. I don't think that's true. I've made a previous video about this. I'll link it at the end if you want to see what I first said about this when he first, you know, got found guilty and we knew he'd be going to prison. I don't think he will spend too much time, if any, in protective custody. And here's the thing. Even if he does, I think we should know by now that that doesn't matter. There's been plenty of people in protective custody that have gotten attacked in prison. Despite that, Dylan Roof, the guy who, you know, in, in the you know years ago, who went into the church in Charleston, South Carolina, the guy with the little bowl cut, he was in protective custody, still got got. What about uh, uh, Derek Chauvin just recently got brutally stabbed? He was protected, right? Police officer, former police officer. Everyone, oh, he'll never show. Oh, he's protected. That's what everybody thinks, but I'm telling you, it, it, it can happen. Okay, so whether he does go to PC, whether he doesn't, I don't think it really matters. I'm still sticking by what I said in my first video that I made about this. I think it's all going to come down to if he still has money, I don't know the guy's financial situation. If he still has even, you know, six figures, that's his ticket through prison. For as long as that will last, that's his ticket through prison. Being the meal ticket of people who would make him their meal, right? And I mean, hey, that, that's just how it goes. And he'd be a fool not to do that. And as long as he can do that, I think he'll be fine. I think not a person will lay a finger on him. Honestly, I mean, I, I truly do. Now, if it comes out that something happened to him in the next few months and he gets attacked, I'll get on here and say I was wrong. But if you ask me where, where, you know, where my money is, I don't think anything's happening to this guy as long as he's got the finances.
because that above anything else in prison, I don't care what anybody else says or, or, you know, any other prison person, you know, make it, you know, who wants to weigh in on this says, you know, you can pretend like this isn't the case, but at the end of the day, cash rules all in prison. And if he's got the money to pay people off, he won't be harmed, but just wanted to give everybody this update and, uh, you know, some of the details they were handing out and, and just kind of weigh in on, uh, that same stuff myself, but, uh, they also mentioned they reached out to Danny Masterson. They had a representative re- re- reach out to him for comment and they're expecting maybe to hear back. Maybe we'll get some more information. And once this classification and reception process is done, see, that's, that's another thing. Usually that process happens. And then they decide based off, you know, what they've concluded off of analyzing all that information, then they'll decide the ideal prison yard for you to spend your, your, your sentence at, you know, this will be pretty much your permanent yard unless issues happen and you have to be removed from that yard. But you know, other, other, otherwise, this is where you're going to be serving your sentence at. I don't know if what, you know, what's going on here with him. If he's already been sent to the yard, he's going to serve his time on and just the way they do things there, he'll undergo that process on, on that same yard. But I will say this, it makes me think since this is the same yard Tory Lanes is on, and he just recently went to this prison, right? Not not too many week months ago. Uh, it, they could both be undergoing their process. That this could be the yard. A lot of states will have a designated prison yard where they do this classification process, and then, like I said, they'll figure everything out, and then they may be sent to different prisons. So it'll be interesting to see if he's even going to stay on this yard, um, uh, or if he's going to be sent somewhere else. And I will be keeping up with it. You know, I will. So when I get more information. Make sure you're here for another video.